everyone and welcome to our porch swing collection. This video kit release will go through everything that is detailed and everything that you receive in this collection. And let me tell you, you are going to love it. It is about everything that is contentness and peacefulness and sitting on a porch swing with a cold drink and not having a care in the world. That is exactly what the porch swing collection is all about and how you can create with it. So that's going to give you the opportunity to create with for anything that me is you know, we're trying to let people know, hey, let's be peaceful about this, whether that's a uh, anniversary, a birthday, uh, even a baby shower, anything, because there's lots of things to enjoy in there. And unfortunately, life gets a little hectic at times. But our bundled collection includes all five coordinated products. There are no duplicates in any of these products. So you can fully can confidently purchase this knowing you're not getting duplicate items. And by buying it as the bundle, you do save 20% on the price versus purchasing each of these five items individually. So let's go in and see what actually all is offered in here. In our papers, as you can see, it starts off with that whole feeling. Um, there's some really great patterns in here. Uh, and there you are with breathe, dream, laugh, rest. Um, again, you're gonna see this theme uh, throughout everything all the items that and all the embellishments that are here and the papers that are here you're going to see the beauty of these things because the beauty when you have the time to stop and just drink it in it, it really is beautiful and and there is that peacefulness and tranquilness that can, can come come over you because of that so that is what we're trying to do here it's all about a feeling and we're hoping like with this quilt patchwork like isn't that a beautiful background paper we're hoping that with that you can see the creativity that comes forth and what you want to create with it and share that feeling through your creation, whether that be layouts or cards or journal pages or whatever paper craft you're working on. So you can see there's uh, smaller patterns, there's larger patterns, there's more intricate patterns, and then there's really neat things like this big, big uh, shingle siding. Uh, you're going to see this in a few colors as well so that that way if you wanted to work with it in a different color palette, you're gonna see fully done stationary backs. Mary Fran has done all the work for us so that we can just easily start. Like you can totally see this as a cover for a photo album. You can see this as a cover for your journal or mini album. You can totally see this as a card. Um, you know, you have something that you a starting point and then you have these gorgeous items to use inside. So no matter whether you are feeling really creative and you want to do it yourself and you're going to see that through the embellishments that there's going to be papers and embellishments that you can create your own customized thing. Or if you are feeling like, you know what, I, I really just want to get going on this. There's a lot of pre-made things. Here's a gorgeous wood plank, uh, you know, background paper. And you're going to see how Mary Fran chose to use this in her layout uh, at the end when I show you that. Again, you're going to see things in many colors. So that way, no matter what color palette you want to work with, you have that. And here are a couple of borders, both in the vertical format. And obviously, you can just turn them if you want to have them horizontally. But uh, this in the floral pattern, this with a nice curve to it. Again, look at how eye catching that can be with the florals in there, the different papers um, really completed for you. So all you have to do is place that into your project. Here's the butterflies with that light and airy attitude that they kind of, and, and the that's what they kind of exude when you place them into your creations. The buttons with the metallic ringed edges, as well as the covered in the great papers of the kit so that they coordinate so well and they add a little bit of interest in color. Uh, and here's what I was saying about the clusters. Mary Fran does such a great job clustering elements together for us that when you look at these, if you're having a little bit of hard time creating that day or you want to create, but you're not sure where to start, do this and look at the clusters and then work backwards. You'll see that if you choose this, okay, you know you have uh, the teal is a, a predominance in here. The pink is a predominance in here. It's uh, you want this to shine a little bit more. So maybe you want the background paper to be a little more uh, less complicated or less intricate in its pattern. It gives you a starting point and then you can kind of work backwards from there. So those are great items to have, right? Same thing with the flares. All these little items, these are the things that are the final touches. Use these and look at these at the very end where you want to place on things like that. That actually gives you, like I said, the finishing touches that complete it and really elevate the look of it. Uh, the florals, Mary Fran has done you a top border or a side border or a corner border so that way, again, 
when you're feeling really creative and you want to add those elements, these individual pieces, Mary Fran has given you those as well. So that uh, once again, you have everything that you need, no matter how creative you're feeling, whether you're feeling like super creative and you want to take a frame like this and adorn it with florals, uh, put a background paper in here, main element or a photo, you have everything included in this kit in order to achieve the look that you're after. Great journal card. You'll see how I use this in one of my card making ideas at the end. Um, you know, very, very easy things to utilize. And again, breathe it all in. You can see how something like this, again, imagine if this was for a retirement card. Well, we want people to breathe it all in because they're retiring. What if it is for a wedding shower or a baby shower? Again, we want them to take in this momentous uh, or this, this gigantic moment in life. We want them to breathe it all in and be able to um, stop for a second and, and capture uh, the greatness of these moments. So I'm hoping that you're seeing and, and inspired and can see the creations coming together for yourself as well. The journal pads, again, these are fantastic items because you want to personalize things. Whether you print this and use this as a card insert, or maybe this is the inside cover of your card, or you're using this in a photo album or mini album or a journal, or a journal kit, these allow you to personalize and write in your handwritten notes, memories, um, whatever it is, but still in such a beautifully captured thing. This can be a stationary pad. Maybe you wanted to print these off and, and uh, attach these together, punch some top, uh, holes in the top, attach a ribbon, whatever it is. And you think, you know what, it's just a little gift that I'm sending to my friend just to, you know, say I care or whatever the case may be. Same thing goes with the labels and the word items. They're great items to start with because when you start here, it allows you to capture the, the feeling or the memory or whatever it is and work backwards. Same reason that the blank ones are in here is because obviously we can't account for every single little thing. Um, so we And we also recognize that English is not everyone's primary language. So we want to give you the same beautiful option uh, in order for you to write on here and personalize it and to coordinate with it rather than having us having something written on there and, and it didn't quite match up to, to what you wanted to say. The ribbons again are, these paper strips are great items in order to add extra texture and color to small areas. And again, I'll show you how Mary Fran chose to use it in her layout at the end. Porch rules. Again, this is a great card to use if you are capturing a family moment, moment with friends, uh, things like that. Look at how awesome this is and pre-done for you. It looks beautiful, it's succinct in its words, just an awesome item. And there's that screen door. Like, how beautiful is that? Really the essence of a porch. Uh, you know, the screen door, the whole essence of it outside. Here is a digital stamp sentiment. It's the porch swing girl in a hurry up world. Again, I'll show you how Mary Fran chose to use this in her layout at the end. Um, but this is a digital stamp. So you can put this on any paper. You can put it over a photo, whatever it is before you print it. That way it is adhered right on there, just like you would use a polymer stamp. The porch swing, obviously. A couple of options in terms of it's oriented one way or the other it's adorned a little differently but there you have it there is the essence of the kit here are more word labels for you again maybe it says exactly what you wanted it to say and you can just easily thinking of you you can just easily place that in but here's the blank ones in case we didn't capture the sentiment or maybe it was a birthday you wanted to uh, or an anniversary or whatever it was that you wanted to uh, to have your creation for it gives you blank ones that coordinate so well, are well embellished, and all you have to do is put on your exact sentiment. So our little bits, again, our little bits are fully clustered elements. So you end up with something like this bookmark. Can you see this as a center to your card, uh, right on the side of your uh, layout, on the side of your journal entry? Uh, you, there are so many things you could do with this, or you could simply print it out as a bookmark, honestly. It is that beautiful and fully done for you. You wouldn't need to touch it. Those are the great things. And as I had mentioned before, when you're starting to create, Little Bits is a great place to start at because you come in here and you think, oh, okay, beautiful. I love the look of this and the feel of it. Okay, I'm now I can, I'm off to the races. It gives you that inspiration, but happy thoughts. It may also give you that main element and then you can work backwards in choosing your papers and, and other elements from there because you know how busy or how uh, not busy your main element is again phrase strips that we've uh, Mary Fran has already taken the time to do great font work on it and also capture a sentiment that may be just right for what you're creating for
But if not, there are, once again, uh, coordinating ones that are blank so that you can utilize those right on them before you print them or print them out and hand write on them, whatever it is you want to do. And another digital stamp uh, sentiment for love you that you can place anywhere you see fit. Our two paper pack, again, includes patterns that you've seen before, but not in these colors. These colors are completely uh, synonymous just to the two paper pack. You do not receive these anywhere else. So when you're making multiple items, you want them to coordinate, but not match. You don't want the identical item created over and over again. So that is the reason for the two paper pack is it gives you so many more options with your papers. The solids, there is a nice embossed kind of check pattern in there. And this is what I was talking about earlier is Mary Fran created those beautiful florals. So you could have one at the top, you could have one over on the side, one in the corner, whatever it is. You could put your digital stamp sentiment on here, put in a photo or another main element. And there you go. You've created your own custom paper, your own custom look. And that is the reason for these is you can customize them exactly like you want and build your own paper with the other embellishments you get in the FQB. Or you can utilize these as we would cardstock, where you back main elements, you back photos, things like that, but they are in the exact color matched um, colors and papers for you so that they coordinate so incredibly well. Lastly is our alpha, where you get letters, numbers, some punctuation. And this is gonna, again, allow you to spell out or capture and punctuate things uh, so that it, it, it obviously highlights what you're trying to, to highlight in your paper craft. We also have included a blank one. So in case there was something missing, you had letters that had um, accents or, or other uh, markings over them, obviously in different languages. We want to give you those options so that you can put in uh, your own personalizations in your languages or in whatever it is. Or maybe there was a punctuation you wanted. You wanted a hyphen or you something else. You have a blank one in order to fill that in and in order to coordinate perfectly. So lastly, before I let you go, let's have a quick peek at some inspiration here. And there's Mary Fran's layout. As I mentioned to you earlier, there is that big uh, white wooden background. Here's how Mary Fran chose to use those floral elements. There's one at the top, one at the side, and one in the bottom corner. Uh, here is the uh, shingle background. And here's how she chose to use the digital stamp sentiment. So you can see how blending all those things together, Mary Fran has used everything from a full cluster already done to individual elements like the, the um, ribbons up here, the stamp sentiment in order to build what she custom wanted in order to give you the look that she wanted. Also in the cards, Here's what I was saying about the cluster. I chose that cluster and then worked backwards in terms of choosing the papers and, and what else went in here. I also wanted a little bit more floral, so I added in that one floral element in behind, and I think it turned out wonderfully. The other card here went a totally different direction where this could be your card front and you could write more on it because miss you lots, I miss you during this pandemic time, whatever it is that you want, or this could be the inside jacket of your card where you write in. Um, there's so many options for this, but as you can see, this border was already done for me. I used one. This is actually a journal card. This isn't a paper with lines in it or anything. This comes in the kit for you. And I added in this uh, element, which the butterflies and flower are all one item and this tag. So one is a journal card, two is a border, three is this element here and four is there. So there's four elements already pre-done for you. I did nothing to them and put them all together to give you this great card. So it shows you how easy it is to create with this kit. So thanks once again for tuning into this porch swing video release. Now you can have seen everything that's in it so you know I can make a really informed decision on whether you wanna purchase it and this is right for you. But before you dash off to get it, please look down in the right-hand corner of your screen. You'll see our Network Collections logo. Click on that logo to be subscribed to our YouTube channel and you'll be made aware every time we have a new video out. As well, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Let us know what you liked about this kit or what you're gonna make with it, what inspiration you're seeing. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks once again and happy creating with our Porch Swing Collection.